Hello everybody, it's gonna be Lauren and Solar. I'm still sick. Super Mill 2108 and I am 10 years. Now, today I'm doing a special audition video where I am showcasing a whole bunch of stuff on my desk. First, we're going to be doing this thing. I actually can't really do anything about it. Basically, it's like a phone charger where all you need to do is put, place your phone on top of the phone charger and then it starts charging. It has to go like in the center right here. And it has to be connected to that. And it's actually a very efficient source. So, buy it. Next, this top hat I got from Dollarama. So, freaking. And under it was actually. Countdown to Danger, Choose Your Own Ending Book, The Canadian Survival Guide, 30 Minutes of Third Book. Let's, let's, let's read the back. Will you survive or will you die? You are hiking through the forest, lost and alone. Your canoe trip in the Rockies has gone terribly wrong and you need to find help fast. Then you stumble upon John, an enemy agent on a top secret mission a mission that involves remote controlled wolverines not the superhero wolverine they're edibles but she's just set loose on you do you try to wrestle the remote away from john or do you run wolverines hot on your heels 30 minutes to the endings you choose if you live or die try it page 54 so basically it's like one of those books where it's like here i'll show you so it's here's beginning of it 30 minutes so you still have 30 minutes left and here it's if you grab the knife and head into the forest turn to page three so it's one of those books and i've actually finished one of the versions of it let me let me see it's here we go here and i read with this ub pen just spoilers for the next thing you're going to be showcasing. Number one. So, I put number one because that's the first ending that I got. Because guess what? There's ten endings. Okay, so... You're dead! Okay, next, there is this pencil. So, remember, I got all of this from the book fair at All Saints Catholic School. Go... And give your money for friggin' books. So here is a, basically a bookmark. It was 50 cents. Get it now. And has it got some sort of dragon thing on it. I actually don't know why I bought it. I don't know if I wanted to. Reject. Okay. Next is the UV pen, which we've already seen. Actually, let me write something on here. What do you guys want to write? Leave something in the comment below so I'll write it down whenever you want me to. Okay, so this is showcased. You did. Now here is the what the heck it's the grocery gang club from the last video. Okay, let's just put that there. Okay, so these are the two books that I got in a in a deal. Let me just drink my milk. Okay. I'm like a man child who still drinks baby milk. Okay, so here is Goosebumps Slappy World, The Ghost of Slappy by R.L. Stein. It's one of the editions of the Slappy World series, and it is book number six. Now, on the back, it says... This is Slappy's world. You only scream in it. Ghosts are everywhere. Shep, she, Shep, 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 Mooney knows this is true. That's because he has a ghost of his own. She lives in his basement and always shows up to scare him when he goes down there. But Shep is about to have bigger problems. When the world's most evil ventriloquist dummy shows up, the real fun starts. Well, fun for Slappy. Home isn't safe and now school isn't either. Will Shep be able to survive the most powerful version of Slappy yet? Is it Shep, Shep, Sheep, Shep, Shep? I don't know. So basically it's just a goosebumps book and it's really cool. 
There's a caramba. Here's the first Goosebumps book. No Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. There's the last book. Which was, it's alive, it's alive. Goosebumps Slappy World. So it's the first two I have. Slappy Birthday to You and Attack of the Jack. Then I have Slappy's Evil Twin. Oh, I haven't read that. Please do not feed the weirdo. I've heard of that one, but I don't have it yet. An Escape from Shutter Mansion. Okay, and then here it's Goosebumps Horrorland. I've read all of those. Regular Goosebumps. I've read all of the classics. And then these are just, you know, most of the classics. Like, okay, so then. Oh, and then. And, and then Most Wanted. I don't have all the Most Wanted ones, but yeah. But the author, R.O. Stein. But yeah, so. Rejection! Now it's Slappy World Escape from Shutter Mansion. Let's read the book. This is Slappy's World, you can only scream in it. Let's see. Riley Shiner is obsessed with Escape from Shutter Mansion, a video game that is based on a real spooky house in his neighborhood. He's played it so much he knows it by heart, which is why he won't go anywhere near the actual place. It's just too dangerous. There are shadows that creep around inside, and then there's the level Riley can't even beat. It features the worst creature of all. Riley is about to find out that you don't always play this game. Sometimes it plays you. And, of course, this thing is... Cut onto my foot. Is that a roll of tape? Is that tape? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Anyway, so this is book number five. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, book number five. My hand's trembling. Okay, anyway, and here goes to Sloppy, which is the one we have. So I have all of those ones, except for the, the I Am Sloppy's Evil Twin, and please do not fear the weirdo. Those two are the ones I don't have yet. Anyway, reject! Whoa. Anyway, and finally, good old Steve. Good old Steve. Good old Steve. Good old Steve. Can you please? Thank you. Okay, so this is not your figure of Steve from the most beloved game in my heart. Minecraft. I do not know why I gave my... Um, Steve, the sound of freaking Mickey Mouse, but with a cheese in his throat, stuck in his throat. I am so sorry you had to hear that. Anyways, so, oh, God. So, his pants are, pants, he's like, he's made exactly how he looks like in the game. Like, he is, he is, he is complete. His hair is coming off, because I've had it for quite a long time. And his, he's, you're actually able to take off his arm. So, let me just, uh, do 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 Oh my god! Anyway, okay, so here is Steve without an arm. And if you're wondering where's arm, da da! And then you can put it back up. Oh my god! Sponsor. Do, 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 do. Okay. And then there's his arm back on. And you can take everything else on. But I think the thing that you can take off more frequently is just... Ah, frequently... Are his pants. Ah, ah, they both crap. Do, 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 do. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let me just put the back together. I probably put it backwards, but whatever. Oh. Okay, so. Reject. Thank you for watching this special edition of Super Meal 2108. I am Camilo Hernandez Solar. I am 10 years old. Wait, I haven't already said this. I already...
Oh, wow. I have bad memory. Okay, thank you for watching. Fountain of air. Just come back. Ma! Let me, let me grab my hand. Do, 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 Jesus, this video has turned out longer than I needed it to be. Do I have it on, right? Yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. I am going to drink this delicious milk. And, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. And I, of course, did because I'm the one making this video. So, yeah. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.